Right then, this is video two. I've come up the coombe a little bit now. It's one of the streams that goes right the way up Holford's Glen. The deer come down to drink here. Just as I ended the previous video, a deer came into view, so I took a photo. Uh, it um, seemed to follow me for quite a while, actually. I tried to get photos, but it would always dart behind a bush. But I have probably got some image. This is the junction point here. Where you can branch off and go up there. Not to Holford Glen yet, no. You go up there, it takes you up. Keep going, you can go up and up and up. It's very pretty though. And uh, it looks, doesn't look quite so much like a graveyard. I think they must have tidied up a little bit, or it's because it's greener. One year I came here and it really looked awful. It looked like a tree graveyard, but it does look better with it being greener. So many memories of this place. Over many years, many years I've been coming here. I used to call it my little Eden. I made a poem up once, I can't, I don't know what happened to it. I called it my little Eden. I can't remember any of it now. It was about 20 years ago I wrote that. I've just seen one person with a Labrador. It's the first person I've seen coming down over the other side. Might have been up on the top, see? Yeah, we go up this valley a bit. And we keep going up and up. I think it's called Lady's Edge along the top there. I've walked along the top there with Zara. And I took her on a big hike once. She did very well, actually. It wasn't really that far, but... She doesn't like a lot of walking. I think she enjoyed it by the end, though. Of course, the most beautiful part is actually up Holford Glen itself, which is more remote, a lot more streams. And, uh, of course, you've got all the ferns, you've got the ants' nests, you've got the blueberries. Uh, You've got the adders that live here. You've got the ghosts, the spirits of this, of these Quantock Hills. Films have been made here. Kevin Costner's Robin Hood, a bit of that. Yeah, loads of films. Now I think that's the branch. That's the branch where you go up to Holford. You go up that track. I'm carrying on up and round up to Bicker Noller Hill. I'm hoping to find Crocombe Church. I've done Bicker Noller Church in the past, but it probably would need an update because of the inferior camera at the time. Here's a bit of a stream, everyone. Here's me. Hi! The date is the 25th of May. 2017. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Hey, beautiful, isn't it? So I've never seen deer on this side though, ever. Mainly up there and up on up high. they enjoy the midweek when um, it's quieter, not the weekenders aren't here. 
There used to be actually loads of ants hills. It's what it is now, and I'm protected from the sun at the moment in this valley, in this very pretty valley. Oh, I was going to have my ashes scattered up here once, but um, I'm always worried that they're going to build on this place one day and this, all this beauty will be gone. I decided I want to be scattered on the, around the top of Glastonbury Tor. I want to be up there and I can see the whole of my Somerset then. I've still got a lot of Somerset to explore. I mean the west side of the Tor, southwest side is more my area. Um, if you go the other side you go towards Froome and all that, Shepton Mallet. I don't know that area so well. It almost doesn't even feel like Somerset to me, the other side. But um, it's because I haven't explored it. Driven through it a few times. It's just too far for me to go on a bus or a cycle to. And then parking, it's so difficult um, parking anywhere. I wonder I'm going to have a week of churches, what I call a week of churches, with Alberta. But today I'm hoping I can walk to one, at least one. There is another one, but I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Crocom, I think Crocom is the first one. <sighs> That's plan A. We'll see how we go, because this is a long hike up here. I'm going to turn off in a minute. You bet your life I do it up here as I turn off again. <sighs> oh, magical, isn't it? I love you trees. Thanks for the oxygen, everyone. Over and out.